Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird changed me forever. Um, and the biggest change occurred when I first came south to the University of Alabama from graduate school. I'd come from a small institution in the north. I didn't know much about issues of race. Uh, but when I got to Alabama, I came across some really interesting papers about uh, a case that occurred in 1933 in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. In the case, uh, a 49-year-old paralytic black man named Dennis Cross was accused by a young, poor white woman of ripping her dress uh, and attacking her. And according to all witness testimony, Dennis Cross could have not committed this crime. He simply did not have the physical capabilities with his crippled hand to rip a dress, to attack this woman. Um, and yet, nevertheless, in the middle of the night, seven white men took him, abducted him, and murdered him alongside the Black Warrior River. And when I read this in the University of Alabama's Gorgas Library, I thought to myself, I know To Kill a Mockingbird is a book of fiction, but there are truths here. And the similarities between the Dennis Cross case and the case of Tom Robinson in the book were staggering to me. Probably there are plenty of uh, literary critics who could say no, Harper Lee did not use this as motivation, but I couldn't help but think that maybe she did. Uh, that a few years after the crime, when Harper Lee herself attended the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa, perhaps she overheard about Dennis Cross's case, and perhaps that changed and shaped her book forever.